Hello and welcome to another episode of the Calumet Wilderness with Sam Love. I am your host Sam Love. You know what we're doing today. Let's get to it. Yeah, I'm out here in Valpo's chain of lakes, so a little bit outside the Calumet region proper, but I wanted to come out here and paddle. I'm out at Long Lake, and so I'm really just gonna go in for a little while. There's a channel that leads to another lake, Canada Lake, so let's we'll see if I can get out that far. It's the first time this year, we'll see what kind of shape I'm in. Yeah, I was driving on 51 in Hobart, going over Deep River, and I saw somebody out there, and I said, you know what? Yeah, I saw that, and then I took a look at what the weather's gonna be for the next week and a half, two weeks. I thought, you know what, today's the day, so let's do it. First one of the year, I'm so excited. I'm glad to have you with me. Wish me luck. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I've been dealing with kidney stones the past two weeks, so my back's not in the best of shape. It's also very windy, so. This could be trouble. I don't really care. I just want to get out in the water and that's what I'm going to do. Let's get to it. All right, let's put in. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'm actually halfway through the lake. Funny thing, I'm looking at a map trying to figure out how long or how wide Long Lake is. I'm thinking like, I could have enough energy to do this. It's a big, now I'm halfway done. I've been in the water a minute, so this isn't going to be a problem. Well, these are kettle ponds, and what that means, it's a big chunk of ice that broke off the glacier, became separated from the rest of it, and just melted in place. You know, all that till surrounding it, giving it this elevation, traps it in, and yeah, it's just a big old melted puddle of ice. Kettle ponds can get quite deep. I don't know how deep this one is. The edges are very shallow but uh, they can get deep pretty quickly. Might look this up when I get home. All right, I'm resting on a submerged tree here. I thought this was the channel to Canada Lake, but it is not. Um, but it's really pretty up here, so let's explore this. This just has to be completely impassable come summer. It's good to be out here today. I guess all those push-ups I was doing over the winter really paid off. I thought my first trip out would be very tiring, uh, but it's not at all. And there is a Canadian goose staring at me from about 15 feet away. We're gonna leave mama alone because this is her world, not ours. All right, off to Canada Lake for real this time. It's beautiful back here though.
Well, first tragedy of this season, I, I lost my sunglasses. I, I was using them to hold my hair back and I did the dramatic and they went flying into the water. So um, I have a light sensitivity condition. I probably sneeze. Actually, I gotta do this because it's it, it. It feels like somebody's just sticking their fingers into your eyeballs. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll probably just call it a day here head on back fortunately i got another pair in the car i always come prepared because i cannot drive without sunglasses even if it's cloudy i gotta wear sunglasses so i don't just do that to be cool i do it to decrease the pain they call them chain of lakes out here but i'm not sure they're all connected you know, maybe this time of year where it's not as clogged up we could get through but i don't know without the shades i don't know if i want to try it so Good to get out today, I'll say that, even just for a little bit. Oh, that was an hour well spent. And my back's gonna be very mad at me right now. It's a bummer about those sunglasses, but well, get another pair. Thank you for joining me on another adventure of the Calumet Wilderness, a very watery adventure of the Calumet Wilderness. There can be much more to come, no doubt about it. So excited to be back out in the water. Cheers to all the paddlers out there. Hope to see you out in the Calumet Wilderness this summer. Take care.